Hey y'all, it's Spiritual Life Coach 43 and I'm here to give you the month of February, your 2022 reading for the Zodiac Sign of Virgo. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome and blessings. Please do come right on in and join us. If you are a returning viewer, watcher, and or subscriber, I'm sending you guys so much joy, peace, harmony, faith, blessings, and happiness, all that good stuff. You guys are so awesome and I appreciate and adore all of you guys. If you are a cross watcher, please do come in and join us as well. I'm sending you guys prayers and blessings to you and to all of us. When it comes to tarot and oracle cards, it's all about the energy and the messages. Please take what resonates, leave whatever does not. Always go to God, your ancestors, your guides, your angels, your spiritual teams for guidance and exercise your free will. Always do what you guys feel is best. Listen to your intuition. Okay. Please continue to like, share, subscribe, and comment. You guys are so wonderful about keeping my channel going and growing. I do see the growth. I cannot build without you guys. So thank you guys so much for your love and support and your awesome energy. Virgo, you guys are awesome. All right. Any information about me and this channel is listed in the description box below. And everything has been prayed and meditated on. There will be three parts to your reading. We're going to start with decks that I love. There's only decks that I highly love. I'm highly connected with. For your opening message, we will be starting with the Conscious Spirit Oracle Card Deck. This is by Kim Dreer. I love this deck. I mean, excellent messages, excellent book that comes with it as well, and beautiful pictures. I am very inspired by this deck. And I will also close your reading with this deck with the card that's on the bottom as your overall energy. All right. And then in part two of your reading, Virgo, I will be doing the Formation of Star of the Sea, and I'll be using this deck. This deck is by Jane Wallace. It is called the Oceanic Tarot Deck. This is my baby. I love this deck. Um, I'm super duper highly connected to it. Always have been. And I was drawn to go back and use these decks and I haven't in a while. So I will give you my all. I will give you my best. All right. Like I said, everything's been prayed and meditated on. Let's jump in. If you guys see any angel numbers, please feel free to Google them. Look them up. Do a quick little Google search and um, get more clarification from your angels about your path, your life, and the numbers you're seeing or the numbers you're hearing. And that's, you know, in your dreams or throughout this reading, any synchronicities that you guys get, definitely uh, write them down, pay attention, look them up. You're only going to learn more about yourself and it's only going to benefit you in your life. All right. So Virgo, you guys have angel number 24. It says third eye chakra. I love this card. Your message reads as follows. It says, I see the wisdom of my higher self and apply this wisdom in my life. You guys are incredibly wise, highly intuitive individuals. That's what you guys are. You guys are very connected to your inner self, your inner knowing and spirit. This is beautiful energy. You guys have learned to listen to your intuition and your gut feeling inside. You know that your intuition will guide you to make the best decisions in your life. A lot of you guys need to keep diaries about your spiritual experiences and the things that you're seeing. Like I was just talking about the numbers and the omens and signs, synchronicities and experiences with God and spirit. If God has talked to you about something, write down that quote to the best of your ability, put a date on it and, um, you know, make sense of it. These are things, it's like a keepsake. These are things to remember. If the angels come to you, write down the date they came to you, you know, and, and the, because I feel like. Whatever happened, write it down to the best of your ability. And if you can't write it, there's sometimes, and I'm not good at drawing at all, I will draw out what I've seen. If I really can't make sense of what I'm seeing, I'll try to draw it out to the best of my ability because God and spirit works in various ways. Sometimes, you know, it's direct communication. Sometimes, you know, you see something or you see a picture or, you know, a loved one from the other side may tell you something and you're trying to make sense of it, you know, ask questions, but definitely write it down. So that you guys can refer back to it and reflect on it. Okay. And then you have a spiritual book and you'll be able to share that with your children and, you know, discuss your experiences and theirs and with other people too. Okay. So a diary, a journal would be great for you guys. And please encourage other people to use their intuition as well. So trust it. You guys may really love the color indigo and you guys could be really uh, reflecting on your life. And certain spiritual experiences at this time. This is good. You should be. Okay. We all have psychic gifts and powers is what I believe. Some people choose not to use them in the best way. You guys are using them the right way with respect from spirit. Okay. And with respect to spirit as well. So you're being trusted to be mystics and mediums. You're being trusted to be 
clairvoyance, clairaudience, um, and to have these skill sets and abilities. So be thankful for them, use them, help yourself, and help others. It's a part of your path, and it's a beautiful part of your path. All right, let's get to part two of your reading, Virgo. Please, Spirit, come through as you always do for the Zodiac Center of Virgo for the month of February, year 2022. This is the formation of Star of the Sea, and I will not be reading in reverse. So if something is upside down, I will flip it and read it in the upright. The first card represents you. The second card represents the change that you guys could see happening next. The third card represents what's going to trigger this change. The fourth card represents the guidance or action you guys can take from spirit as you choose. The fifth card represents what's happening with co-workers, family members, friends, relatives, near and far. Could also be you. Take it how it resonates. And the sixth card represents the outcome of the spread. I always start with the bottom of the deck as it represents the overall energy of this spread. Let's see what you guys have. Virgo, you guys have, I love it, an ace, ace of swords. You guys have a beautiful victory coming in. So you guys will be exercising your intelligence, okay? This is the time to make some smart decisions. I see why you guys have angel number 24, the third eye chakra coming out as your opening message because you guys will need to listen to your intuition and your intellect, okay? Both. You guys are very smart and it's time to utilize what you know because when you do this, you guys will achieve high success, a great victory, and this is what you want. You should feel very empowered or powerful whenever you guys make this decision. I feel like a lot of you will be speaking your truth. There's something you guys need to say you want to get off your chest. It's important and you will be heard is what I'm hearing. For some of you, this is going to cause a beautiful breakthrough in your life. You're ready for this. Okay, I feel like a lot of you have prepared for this. You know what you want. You're going after it. And spirit, this is like a yes card. They're saying, yes, do it. Now's the time. Finalizing a home, you know, starting a different career, moving on to what's next, a new project. This is your time to shine. This is your time to do it. So this is like, yes, please do go for it. This is beautiful energy. Somebody could also be speaking a truth to you. So take it how it resonates. But um, I really like the success that's here because you're using what you know to get there. You already have it within and you know it. It's like maybe somebody doubted you or underestimated you, but they're going to see. It's like you're going to prove these people wrong and you're standing strong. You're standing tall. Victory is yours. Okay. So this is beautiful. So good benefits coming your way. Um, just keep making smart decisions. That's all you really have to do. And I feel like it's coming in. It's, it's, it's like for sure. I feel like it's for certain. Okay. Yeah. And it's feel, it feels real positive for some of you. This is a positive new beginning too. Okay. So you will have some mental clarity about situations as well. Speak up for yourself. And, uh, I see you being triumphant. This is a beautiful start. I love this for you, Virgo. Let's see what's representing you guys at this time. You guys have the queen of pentacles. Kindness is here. So you guys are very kind, very giving. You guys are really good with nature. Some of you guys may really love, I'm hearing greenery or like planting different seeds and plants. You're good with animals. Some of you are animal lovers and you own pets or you work like um, as a veterinarian or um, you work with animals or you feel like you can really understand their thoughts and feelings. Like you communicate with animals really easily. You love helping them. You could be doing animal rescue or something like that. But you guys are great with children as well. Kids really gravitate to you. And I feel like you guys are you guys give great advice. People love to hear what you guys have to say. It's like you guys know how to come to different people's levels. Kids, adults, all, all ages. And you're able to like tell them things in a way that they understand. And it's because of your kind heart, Virgo. You guys have really kind hearts. That's beautiful energy. I love this. You guys are seen as great helpers. You guys are very helpful people. I feel like you may help somebody by giving them advice about how to like increase their money or cash flow. That's beautiful. I love it. And this offer also could be coming to you, especially with the victory card here. That's good. That's beautiful. Let's see what's coming in next for you guys. Three of swords, heartache, so healing. A lot of you are in a place where people have betrayed you, have done you wrong. People have ghosted you, left you completely out. Um, you know, I feel like everybody can relate to this. It's hurtful. 
Sometimes it's devastating. But one thing about the Three of Swords, you will heal from this pain. You will get up again. You will go on stronger. I feel like you're going to prove a lot of people wrong. That keeps coming through. Yeah, this is not cool. It's, it's this, and it could be more than one person who's done this. You know, heartbreak is not always, you know, a romantic interest. Oftentimes it is. But it's also family members and friends, people who sell you out, people who tell all your business and secrets, people you thought you could trust. It's like they betrayed you and now you can see clearly who they are. So a secret could be coming out. You could be finding out something, but know this, you are strong. Stay well balanced. Stay close to God and spirit. Stay prayed up. And no matter what, hold your head up high. Get up and keep going. Heal from it. Learn from it. Learning is healing because lessons are blessings. And this is the learning world. We're here to learn. You're not going to stay down just because that's where people wanted you to be. There are better things for you, better opportunities, better love interests, better places for you, better jobs, better friendships. There's better things for you. Understand that. Know that. Let's see what is going to trigger this change. You guys have the page of pentacles opportunity. Like I was just saying, opportunities are coming in. Sometimes people get jealous when they see that you have acquired opportunities where you can move or you can move between different careers or have different streams of money coming in or when you have fast opportunities coming in or you're moving on or you've spiritually developed and I feel like a lot of you have people can see that light in you sometimes people are jealous and envious of you because they don't want to see your glow up they don't want to see you surpass them even though you're not competing with them. In their mind, they wanted you to stay where they are or where they chose to be. You're walking your path. You're minding your business. You're making plans for yourself. You're doing what you're supposed to do. What's meant to be for you will be for you. Victory's here for you. Keep going. I feel like some wonderful things are coming in fast. Some of you guys could be moving homes. You could be relocating. Definitely check over the documents and paperwork. Make sure it is what you want it to be. Make sure you have a clear understanding with all partnerships and all documents. But I'm seeing something fast and good coming in and somebody could be moving away and leaving your life as well. Either way, it's for the betterment of you. Because like I said, what's for you is for you. And anything that's not or anything that's on a low vibration or toxic, it needs to go. No matter what, you keep going onward, upward, and forward. All right, let's see what the guidance is from Spirit. You guys have the four pinnacles, absolutely. Secure the bag, all right? Focus on your security, your stability, because it's only going to make you feel better knowing that you can stand firm and independent and have your own money, your own place, your own things. You have security coming in for you. So this is something that's going to make you smile and make you feel amazing. And I feel like this is what you guys are headed to. You guys are building money. A lot of you guys are learning how to invest your money and make it, you know, grow and multiply and make it work for you to the best of your ability. I love this energy for you. Be hands on, get involved. And, you know, it's okay to share your knowledge, but make sure you're implementing what you've learned into yourself and your life and for your family and for your kids. So that you have the best opportunities possible. Okay? Be diligent. Keep working hard. Check all those contracts like I was saying. But I'm saying like, you're real focused on your finances. Okay? And you're, you're like, you want to own property or more property. Like you need, you're going to feel calm. It's like the more you feel financially secure, the more calm you feel. You love things in order, in the right order. You know, just stay open to new possibilities is what I'm hearing. Because I feel like you guys will expand something, like an empire, or you're going to expand on something you're working on, a project. Or maybe you guys have a creative endeavor or a task or a business. You're going to expand. I'm hearing just secure the bag. Secure the bag. 
Okay, let's see what's happening with family members, friends, coworkers, people around you. Look at this. Three of Pentacles. Somebody is going to be recognized for all their hard work, for achieving a goal. Um, somebody's going to get positive attention. It could be you guys as well. Somebody could be like restoring their reputation, learning new skills, completing something. So maybe somebody just graduated or they're about to, or they just finished a program or it's coming to a close, something like that. But somebody's going to be acknowledged for their hard work and they should be proud of themselves. So if this is you, congratulations. And if this is somebody you know, love and care about, make sure you congratulate them as well for their achievements. And, you know, I see further success for them is on the horizon. That looks good. So this is, you know, this is a good time for people to like clean up the house because you never know who's coming over or like pour into the house, like change the furniture or redecorate, reorganize, do something like that. You know, just take pride in your work. Somebody really needs to take pride in your work because you're doing a great job. Somebody's doing awesome. And it's going to have a lasting effect. Like somebody's going to remember it. It's going to be memorable. It's going to stand out. It's going to shine. You could be going to an event. You could be um, invited to go celebrate somebody. And this is really cool. Somebody could be having like an art gallery or maybe you paint or you make something with your hands. And it's like, you know, it could be candle work or whatever it is. It's like people want to hear it. They want to see it. It could be, um, I'm hearing poetic. So it could be like somebody speaking through a microphone about their poetry or some kind of book review, something like that. But I'm seeing like somebody's showing off their work and they should be really proud of it. So that's beautiful. I love that energy. Outcome. You guys have, I love it. The King of Cups. Understanding energy. So you guys, you know, you guys have an offer coming in and this also could be you. So take it how it resonates. But there's an offer here. Somebody wants to give their cup of love to you guys. I'm getting a 50-50 split. So you guys could be offering that. This is beautiful energy. This is somebody who thinks with their heart. Um, they could be a little shy. They may appear very strong on the outside, but when it comes to their emotions, they could be a little timid, a little shy. But once they stand firm on what they know, like if they're in love with you, once they know it, this person may take a little bit more time to tell you. But I feel like they trust what they feel. They trust their inner knowing. They trust the energy of it. They trust what they believe. This is water energy. It don't have to be a cancer, but it can be. But that's water energy. And it's like, it's overwhelming to me. Like this is somebody who is very loving, very understanding. They like to be fair. Okay. This person is real mature. So you can have adult conversations with this person and understand like, they believe in honoring themselves. You know, they do believe in commitment. So they want something that is, you know, tangible. And for the long run, you know, they love a good solid relationship that can build to like a partnership and a marriage and all of that. So this is beautiful energy. This person makes an ideal partner and they do follow their emotions. They do. They just have to get to a place to explain them because sometimes it takes time for them to explain, but they're very sensitive uh, very devoted and they stand high in integrity. Okay. This person is very loyal. They love to be loyal for life. If they're in, they're in. And like I said, this also could represent you as well, but I'm seeing an offer, love offer come in for you and it looks beautiful. That's amazing. I love it for you, Virgo. All right. Let's close your reading with the overall energy message. And this is once again from the conscious spirit Oracle card deck. You guys have angel number 33, sun goddess. Your message is, I celebrate each sunrise and recognize the healing energies of the sun. So appreciate the sun. You guys may need to spend some time outside. If you are in colder places, which a lot of us are, and it is technically still winter time, a lot of people don't get to see a sun right now too often. So envision it, okay? Envision the warmth of the sun on your body. It's very healing. Imagine it shining. Picture it. Envision it. And, um, you know, think of it giving you relief from any type of heartbreak, any type of pain, mental or physical or emotional. And you guys definitely should eat more foods. You know, eat more. When I say foods, I mean like from the earth. So a lot of organic fruits, 
foods, vegetables, you know, all that good stuff. You know, anything earthy is really good right now for you guys. But just imagine the sun and the earth and just appreciate, you know, all of God's elements, especially the sun right now. You guys may need some sun on your skin. You know, don't overdo it to where like you, you know, get sunburned and all that. But um, go outside, spend some time in the warmth of the sun. Allow yourself to be healed. Allow your mood to be lifted. You know, allow yourself to think of happy thoughts to make yourself feel happier and more at peace and in a calm place. And just give thanks for the sun and everything that we have. And do things that make you feel awesome and amazing because you are Virgo. All right, Virgo, this has been your reading for the month of February, year 2022. I hope the messages in this reading resonate with all of you or as many of you as humanly possible. I'm sending you guys so much love and light, romance, abundance, happiness, victory, success, all that good stuff. Be at peace. Be blessed. Thank you guys so much for watching. God bless you. Bye, Virgo.